Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So guys, once again, we're here to talk about Lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbians. Lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbians. Lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbians. 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 That's right, guys. We're here to talk about Lesbians. <laughs> Hey guys, I have a whole playlist of videos on you, YouTube about these chicks whining about how hard it is to date chicks, how much it costs to date chicks, the DV rate, the divorce rate, right? All this foolishness, right? So guys, ch check out the playlist. Today, guys, we're going to talk about these lesbians who lose custody of their kids. Because, guys, I honestly believe the only two groups of 304s that can even fathom what it's like being a man are chicks that are uh, have their their new husband, their 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 brother, or their son getting reunited in fam family court. Or a lesbian that has to date chicks. That's the only way that they can understand. So, so guys, here we have a case of a chick who lost custody of a kid that she had with her lesbian girlfriend because she was not the biological parent. So we're going to get into this. But before we do, guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment because it really helps keep this channel going. If you're on Crumble, guys, check out my YouTube. If you're on YouTube, guys, check out the playlist at the end. Check out my second channel linked in the description, guys. And I'm on Locals now. That's in the description. Also, guys, look at this. From mums.net. Look at this. Separation of same-sex couple and parental rights. Just hi. My tenure relationship has just finished with uh, by my partner. She's a birth mother to our da daughter. We are not married, nor are we in a civil partnership. So the dad's sperm donor is known but is not on the birth certificate. Long story short, I found myself not having any rights to my daughter. I provided for the birth mother and our daughter since the beginning, five years, three of which the birth mother was out of work, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's just, I was literally paying for everything. I slash we have accumulated debts that are unfortunately in my name. Are you trying to tell me that you were with a chick that was spending your money but not hers? Just like a woman. <laughs> so, she says, so not only am I losing the most precious thing in my life, my daughter, because I have no legal rights, but I also end up having to pay by myself what should be shared debt. Help. Please anyone. Money is one one thing, but I can't bear thinking I will lose my child. Thanks. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Now, guys, this actually happens quite a bit. So let's check out two news stories here that show that this happens. Let's get into this. On ABC Action News. Thank you for ending your week with us. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Jasmine Stiles. Wendy has the night off. A rare custody battle is playing out right here in the Bay Area. A same-sex couple is battling over parental rights. The biological mother successfully changed their baby's birth certificate, and it left the non-biological mother with no rights. And now she is fighting to have her son back in her life. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee. Do you hear that, guys? She changed the birth certificate. <laughs> Look at that, guys. How angry do you have to be to just be like, you know what? I'm just going to take you off the birth certificate, right? Walks us through the legal hurdles and the precedent this case could set for families in the future. On January 27, 2020, a baby boy weighing seven pounds, one ounce came into the world. That's Jennifer Salas cutting the umbilical cord. I'm a mother, too. I know what it feels like to be a mother. I feel like I birthed him. It was her wife, Ashley Brito, who gave birth. Salas says she inseminated her at home. A family friend was the donor. Ah. A couple leaked. Oh, no. Guys, some simp, some moron gave them his sperm. What a knucklehead. What an idiot. Why would you do that? What a simp, Mr. Here I come to save the day. Clown world. Guys, never do that. Legally married in 2019, and Salas's name is listed under the parents' information, along with Rito's, on the original birth certificate. Pictures of the couple, along with Salas's two daughters, show happy milestones. But for the last several months, Salas says she's been forced to live without her son. 
It's not life. I'm heartbroken. Everywhere I go, everywhere I take my girls, um, he's not there. It's like a piece of me is missing. My life is not complete. Other Stellis admits there was trouble in the marriage, and she decided she wanted to end it. She's upset. She's hurt. Ah, she filed for divorce, guys. She filed for divorce, right? And all of a sudden it's... Tell me I'm gonna kill you, you fucking whore! Right? <laughs> And that's how these relationships go between these these chicks, man. I left her. I was no longer happy. Whatever went on between me and her has absolutely nothing to do with the baby. That's what you think. After that, Sala says Brito grabbed her things and their child and left. Weeks later, she discovered her name had been taken off of the birth certificate. Look at that. And you're trying to tell me that a woman's using a child as a weapon against you? Yes. <laughs> Like a woman. <laughs> and the biological father, Angel Rivera, was now listed under the parents' information. Oh no, so she can get child support from that guy. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So she took her wife's name off and put the sperm donor on there. So she can get child support now. They played make believe with me to make me believe that he was my my baby, and then she said she had a change of heart and just changed her mind. Salas is now working with Robert Ongstadt, a Tampa divorce lawyer who took the case pro bono. There comes these questions of, well, why didn't she adopt? And my answer to that would be, why does she have to adopt? An opposite sex couple doesn't have to adopt their own child. The idea is preposterous. He filed a motion to throw out the judge's order, granting the biological father parental rights and restore Salas's rights. The judge agreed during an emergency hearing last month. This is a ruling based upon um, facts brought to the court's attention. Okay, so the court is, va is vacating its own final judgment. Angstad says Brito and Rivera went behind Salas's back. He says Salas was never served a notice on the final hearing, removing her from the birth certificate, which is why he's trying to prove they committed fraud in the court's eyes. If this were an opposite sex marriage, we would not be here today. This case never would have happened. Um, a child born in a marriage has a presumption of being a legitimate child to both husband and wife period. I reached out to Brito and Rivera asking to hear their side of the story. Both of them told me over the phone I'd have to go through their lawyers. I reached so she called and was like, why did you do this to your ex? And she said, I hope you die, bitch. I hope you die, AIDS, ho. <laughs> out and they never got back to us but in court filings both say quote there is no status or case law that requires notice to the respondent's same-sex wife and while Angstad admits there is no case law the Supreme Court's ruling legalizing same-sex marriage was clear about one thing children from same-sex marriages would have the same sense of unity and community and belonging that children from opposite sex marriages have. So that is in the US Supreme Court decision. When the government moves to take away something from you, whether it's life, liberty, property, whatever the case may be, and certainly courts have, have said custody counts, you have to have notice and a hearing before an impartial decision maker. So something uh, is, is seriously amiss. Brendan Beery is a professor of constitutional law at Cooley Law School. He says the Supreme Court ruled on a case with an opposite sex couple where the non-biological dad got parental rights. The Supreme Court made it very clear that the constitutionally protected interest or the constitutionally protected unit is the family unit. It's not the biological relationship. That actually was authored by Justice Scalia, who probably would not have foreseen using it this way. But he says the Supreme Court looks very different from 2015 when it legalized same-sex marriage. And he says clarifying the law may be difficult. I, uh, I would not put any money on this court being sympathetic. Uh, to the Isn't that funny, guys, how this Supreme Court now is the most diverse, right? Per the wo wokey wokes. Right? But it's conservative leaning. Isn't it funny how that works? Because people just act, the wokey wokes act, act like just, just, oh yeah, we'll, we'll put a bunch of blacks and browns and chicks in there and it's going to automatically be good. Nope. The plight of same-sex couples, unfortunately. Thursday. I mean, not good in their interests. 
Judge Lindsay Alvarez said on the record she hasn't made any judgment on whether fraud was committed. The case is essentially new and will head to trial where one of three things could happen. Rivera does not establish paternity. Salas is deleted on the birth certificate or somehow all three get some sort of custody, which Onstead says hasn't happened before. I just can't wait to see my son. I don't believe that blood makes you family. I believe that time, care, and love makes you family, the time that you put into an individual. A devotion. I'm not settling. I'm going all the way through. This mom won't give up on. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. Oh, that's that, guys. That's that. Clown. The custody battle continues tonight for a former lesbian couple and their seven-year-old daughter. And now there's an arrest warrant involved. Oops. Channel 5's Jill Glavin joins us live from our Vermont newsroom tonight with an update. Jill? Well, Gabrielle, last month Judge William Cohen gave Lisa Miller 30 days to turn over her daughter Isabella or face contempt of court. Today those 30 days were up and Lisa Miller is still nowhere to be found. This afternoon, Judge Cohen issued a warrant for Miller's arrest, holding her in contempt of court. Miller and her daughter have been missing since January 1st when she was ordered to surrender custody to her former partner, Janet Jenkins of Fairhaven. The two women have been locked in a custody battle since 2003 when Miller moved to Virginia. And so do you see she, guys, she took the babe, babe, baby? Got out of there, man. Renounced her homosexuality. Outside court today, Jenkins made another plea for Isabella. So much time has passed since Isabella's disappearance. Every minute of every day, I worry about her, about where she is and whether she's okay. I love her and miss her so much. The seven-year-old Isabella has been listed as a missing person. Jana Jenkins says she believes someone is helping Miller stay in hiding and worries for her daughter's safety. Now, this arrest warrant is only good in the state of Vermont, but if Miller is found in Virginia, Isabella can be taken away from her. If she's anywhere else, the state will need to file charges. A lawyer for Jenkins said she expects that to happen, but the, Rut the Rutland County State's Attorney did not return our calls about that today. Live in the Vermont Newsroom, Jill Glavin. Look at that, guys. So this chick, ex-wife or whatever, took the kid and ran. She said, uh-uh, I'm not losing custody. I don't think so. And ran. And now this chick right, right here is dealing with all the same crap that us guys have to deal with for custody. Right? You know what I mean? This is what they asked for, guys. Right, right here. This Lesbians. It got equality. Clown work. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you. Right? These chicks are with some broad that gets knocked up with a turkey ba baster, right? And then they break up, and homegirl takes the the kids, and they have no legal rights, just like men. And now they're on on here whining and moaning. I can't see my kids. <laughs> Welcome to being a man, right, guys? This is the equality that they want wanted, and this is is this is true. Rep the LDHD TVs asked for equality and representation. Guess what? You got it. And some might say, AJ, you're just being so mean. How dare you? You know what? Uh-uh. They asked for it. Now, guys, look at this. Someone says, "Why?" Are this is a response. Why are you losing your daughter? Is the partner not willing? To discuss arrangements for when you are living separately, so the debts are yours. Unfortunately, this is a nature of cohabitating over marriage, civil partnership, nothing to do with being the same sex. Now, this person right here, why are you losing your daughter? Is your partner not willing to discuss? Dude, you realize that this person's partner is a woman, right? <sighs> Some of the most vindictive, mean-hearted. They, like horrible people on the planet, right? Someone says, why aren't you on the birth certificate? I just don't understand so many threads here. Do people just not give thought to any personal decisions? Hey, Lady Kale, you forgot that the original poster is a woman. Act just like a woman. Of course, the, they're not going to make any good des decisions. Look at that. Someone says, how could you not be... 
aware that this would be the case. Legally, biologically, she's not your daughter. She's your ex-partner's daughter. She has no relation of yours. You have no parental rights. See? And look. This chick's not even getting any sympathy. Welcome to being a man. Look at that. Look at that. Someone says, please contact a lawyer. Of course, being in the same sex relationship matters, but there will always be one partner who isn't biologically the child. I mean, biologically related. Uh, they were in a relationship when the child was conceived and born, but I agree with, with others that not being on the birth certificate and not adopting this child that you had for five years wasn't sensible at all. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look, someone says, but the situation is the same. The sperm donor is used in a heterosexual relationship. That's true. Someone says, my my le lesbian friend uh, had a DC with a woman that she wasn't even partnered with. Just as a co-parent. And even though the other woman gave birth, they're both on the birth certificate. She has equal rights. Look at that. Man. So everyone's saying no parental rights. And guys, this is ha this happens all the time to us guys. Which is why you don't date these single moms, man. Because these guys will build a relationship with these kids. And the chick can just ski-daddle and take the kids. Or even your actual kids in divorce court, right? Man. Look at that. Someone said, uh, answering says, why did you do this? P person says, so presumably she says she wasn't named on the birth certificate because they did it informally rather than via a clinic. Now, guys, this is a woman thing, too, to never want to do things the formal way that it's supposed to to be done, right? Chicks who don't want to uh, 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 call relationships relationships. They don't want to talk about, oh, uh, any normal, regular way to do things that's order and structure, that can hold them account accountable, and they don't want that. Look at that, man. This chick is cooked, man. She is cooked. And like I said, she's never going to see this kid again, ever. Welcome to being a man. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.